welcome to Grateful Kids. Today we are going to learn about Rembrandt. Rembrandt is a famous Dutch artist who lives in what is now the Netherlands in Europe. He lived about 400 years ago. He is considered one of the greatest painters and printmakers in Europe. His most famous artworks are The Night Watch, The Storm on the Sea of Galilee, and his many, many self-portraits. So today we're going to learn how to make our own self-portraits like Rembrandt. Let's be creative! So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need watercolor paints, a jar of water, a variety of brushes. Using nicer brushes will um, create a better outcome for your kids. So make sure you have some nice soft rounds and some small brushes, some teeny small pointy ones, and then just a few in between. Watercolor paper, and I'm using a nine by 12 inch that I'm going to cut down to an eight and a half by 11 so that I can put it in my printer nicely. Paper towels, and then a photo reference. And you'll need colored pencils. Get your photo reference, and you're gonna take out the picture. Then you take your watercolor paper and you're going to cut it down to a regular paper size for the printer. Okay, and then you're going to scan this and you're going to put her face halfway in the scanner like this with a white piece of paper on the other side. You can do this two ways. You can do this on your computer with a photo you have on your computer and then just edit out half of her face, which I've done many times but this isn't a picture that we can have on the computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan this and I'm going to put it right onto this watercolor paper. I can put this in my printer and it will print out onto this. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have gray colored pencil to draw with and we're going to start sketching our face. Now the first thing I want you to look at is the shape of your face. Okay, so yours is gonna start around here and you're just gonna kinda try to copy, you're gonna look at your picture here and you're gonna try to copy it as best as you can. This takes a lot of practice to be able to do this. So that's why we have half of it done already. So go ahead and try to figure out the your outside of your face first. Have an eraser if you need it. Make sure you don't push too hard because this is a sketch and you see how hard it is to get rid of those lines. So just barely touch your colored pencil to your paper and it'll make it very easy to erase those lines. You don't want to indent your paper at all. Okay. Once you have your head shape, you can start adding in your hair. Okay. The next shape that's the easiest is finishing your nose. And don't forget to look at your picture too and look up to see if it's matching. And then once you are done with your nose, you can move on to the eye because the nose helps you understand where the eye is. And you can go like this, you can put a finger in between and, and kind of use your finger on your picture understand how big things are, like how close they are, how far apart they are. Eraser. Yeah. Hmm. And we might have to do a lot of erasing. That's okay. Okay. 
and then you're going to start painting. We have to be careful. We have to learn how to add enough water to our brush when we want it to spread far. And if we don't want it to spread far, then we have to add less water to our brush. If we want darker colors, we add less water and more color to our brush. Okay. If we want it to be lighter, we add more water and less color. Okay. For details, we want to use our smaller brush. For bigger areas, we want to use our larger brush. And mixing colors is important too. So you can try to match the colors by mixing colors. And it's good practice for us. So like Katie just did, she mixed this color with the brown. And that made a mixture of the both of those colors and made a more golden color. Which that's kind of the color of my hair. Yeah. Now if you find that your child is having difficulty with the painting, then you can go ahead and ask them to just color with the colored pencils. But it does not have to be perfect. This is just for practice. Then, I add some, then I'm going to add some gray. Okay, we're going to go ahead and speed up this so that um, you guys can take as much time as you want on this step. And don't feel pressured to stop and begin when we do. So we'll see you when we're finished. Here's our finished portrait paintings. I hope you had fun. If you like this, give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Somewhere. <laughs> Drive so you don't miss out on any more of these videos. Bye. Bye. I played Animal Down today and I finished all the episodes on one of the things that you can watch. Animal Jam is a fun game where you are like a um, animal and you go around, you make buddies, you go to their dens, you play games, and it also gives you lots of information about stuff. And sometimes mom says she doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> bye, 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 bye.